The shoe is one of the most important contact points between you and the bike. Getting the right shoe is critical to unleashing your performance and maximizing your comfort on the bike. There's loads of choice out there. One of my favorites for the last year has been the S-Works from Specialized. It's their latest high-end shoe and really is a good shoe. It's stiff, it's lightweight, and it fits really nicely. So they've got a full carbon fiber sole. They give it a stiffness rating of 13, whatever that means. Obviously 10 wasn't high enough, so they've gone to 13. Titanium inserts for the cleats, uh, rubber bumpers, just to add a bit of extra durability. As you can see, they've really hammered these shoes, given them plenty of abuse, and they've really stood up well. The upper is an interesting combination of three materials. So you've got a nice, soft, flexible, perforated toe area, a really rigid uh, heel cup, they call it a padlock, and in between the two, you've got this very thin, stiff, and non-stretching material, which really keeps the foot in place, and it all combines together really nicely. So it's a really comfortable shoe, but it really stays in place, it doesn't move around. On top, you've got two burr dials, easy micro adjustment when you're riding along, and a little Velcro strap, which really you, you set once, and then you don't have to adjust thereafter. So um, really nice shoe, I really like it. However, quite pricey. So when Specialized launched a range of torque shoes, Price from 80 to 200 pounds, designed to sit underneath the S-Work shoe. I'm uh, really interested, and I have one here. So this is a Torch 3.0. This is a 200 pound shoe, the top of range shoe in that Torch range. And it's basically designed to sit underneath the S-Works. And when it was launched, I thought, oh great, a shoe, they're gonna offer some of the performance of the S-Works without the S-Works price tag. And in some ways, that is the case. So you have a full carbon fiber sole, just like the S-Works. It's not as stiff, they give it a stiffness rating of 8.5. You still get rubber bumpers for easy kind of walking around the office and you know plenty of cleat adjustment. The upper has the same uh, boa dial and velcro strap arrangements, easy micro adjustment. But afterwards, it's a very different upper. They use different materials. It's a lot more uh, flexibility and movement in the, in the material they've used, especially around the midsection. The heel cup isn't as rigid and secure. I mean, it doesn't, um, it prevents heel lift really well, but it just doesn't have that same locked in feeling as the S-Works. The toe box is noticeably uh, more roomy. The S-Works are quite a low profile toe box, really. Not restrictive in any way, but you know, it's a low profile. If you've got big toes, you might struggle. But the toe box on this torch shoe being opened up and it's a lot more roomy. You have a noticeable difference, really, and it's really an indication of who specialises aiming the shoe at is the tongue. It's a lot more padded than the S-Works. The S-Works has a really thin, kind of one layer material tongue. This is a lot more padding, and that really ramps up the comfort, and you really notice that difference on long rides. And the sole, yeah, it's not as stiff as the S-Works, but unless you're Pete Sagan pushing out 500 plus watts, you're not really gonna notice it. For high performance riding, it's adequately stiff. The upper, it took me a little while to get used to it, actually. I didn't find the padding um, all that agreeable to begin with, but I actually could grow to like it. I like the kind of extra flexibility in the midsection. There's plenty of heel security at the back of the shoe. And all in, it's a really nice shoe, actually. I think it complements the Specialized range really well. And so which would you choose? If you want the best, if you're a crit racer, road racing, you want a high performance shoe, you're obviously going to pick the s shoe. But the torch is an interesting option for people who aren't racing, who aren't the most demanding riders, who value comfort and maybe doing a sporty for a Grand Fondo where you know, comfort is a bit more of a priority than maximum stiffness. And I think that's where the torch really comes into it itself. And not just a shoe that you pick because you can't afford the S works, you're definitely not losing out on performance. I feel no slower wearing these shoes than I do wearing the S works. So, I mean, laboratory testing probably find that is actually a faster shoe but with splitting hairs in the real world really, and I can confidently pick the torch shoe and not feel that I'm gonna be held up in any way. So um, yeah, I've been really impressed with the torch shoe. I reckon you should check it out because it's not an inferior um, partner to the S-Works in any way. It's a good shoe in its own right, and there's a lot of nice technology in it. The fit's great. You've got the body geometry sole technology that you get in all uh, body geometry shoes. And yeah, don't worry, it comes out of colours if this green isn't really to your liking, but uh, I've grown to like it. Like, it does clash with all my kit. All things considered, the Torch 3.0 is a really good addition to the Specialized range. If you're all about performance though, the S-Works is still a shoe for you. If you're doing an hour crit race, road races in general, or just a really demanding rider and you want the best, the lightest and stiffest, the S-Works is still the shoe for you. 
If, however, you want a bit more comfort, you're doing long sporties, grand fondes, or just training rides, the Torch 3.0 is a really good choice. And I recommend taking a closer look because you might discount it because the S-Works is the, the flagship, the halo shoe at top of range that you know, Peter Scan and loads of other top racers use. But the Torch 3 might be a better, a more realistic option if you're not Peter Sagan and pushing out 500 watts. So yeah, it's a really good shoe. I, I really do like it. So um, yeah, a good shoe. Go check it out.